Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a few videos to do today because they released four different SPCs, but we're going to go ahead and get started here with the Martin Braithwaite card. Uh, Braithwaite's card, he had a card last year. It was the, um, was it the, it was like a Euro one or it was the blue and purple one? I forget which one it was, but the card was actually pretty decent for what it was. Uh, with Braithwaite, he is 5'10", medium, medium work rates, right-footed, 4-star skills, 4-star weak foot. Uh, In-game player traits, he has the speed dribbler traits, he has the flare traits, in-game attributes. Uh, the card is going to be working with 92 acceleration, 93 for sprint speed. Okay, so engine chemistry style again. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, I gotta give engine to everybody, because look, this card is like screaming for it. He is screaming for it, look. Engine chemistry style on this card is going to give him 97 acceleration with 98 sprint speed. Most of the strikes that you're going to be taking is going to be inside the 18 yard box anyway, so no big deal there. Uh, we're going to be boosting his dribbling to be as high as possible in the agility, balance, and dribbling departments. The only thing that's going to be low ish on the card is going to be in reactions at an 88 with an 87 for composure. So. I think the engine camera style is going to make the most sense for this card, uh, as it is for most of the cards, let's be honest. Base card stats are passing. Very good as well with the engine camera style. We will be improving that too to be at a very good level. He's going to have 90 stamina. So, I mean, listen, if you want to use him as your attacking oriented center mid, you could. If you, you want to use him as a left mid, right mid, you could. But I do think that most people are going to be using him in the striker position. Um... Defensive stats on this card, he has 89 heading accuracy with 95 jumping, so pretty helpful if you actually want to go for headers um, while jumping in the air because he's got 99 jumping, so pretty solid stuff there. Doesn't have like the power header trade or anything like that. Uh, he's going to have 88 for strength with an 81 for aggression too, right? So he's a physical physical type player, even though he's five foot ten, he is physical oriented. Uh, let's see, average body type, yeah. Average uh, Bonnie type guys, you know. Okay, so guys, with Braithwaite, uh, I have to buy a couple players because we did some SBCs on the review account. But uh, just gonna go ahead and switch a few things here and there. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and give him the engine chemistry style here, so we can boost the pace, dribbling, and passing as much as possible. And we are going to be using him in the three four one two as we normally do, um, playing at eh, we could use my left striker i don't mind that actually instructions will just be getting behind stay forward for both of the cards we'll try out some left-footed strikes with him if we ever get the opportunity so because you guys know flashback benzema has got the best attacking ai in the game uh but yeah let's go try him out man hopefully he's a beast Listen, he's good in the air. So I was like, you know what? Why not? Should be able to get that bad boy. Oh man, he was positioned. Oh, hello. Hey, to be fair, his dribbling is actually coming off okay in those like really tight situations, so I don't mind that too much. Yeah, when I get into those positions, like I have to make the extra pass. Because there's not really much you can work with there. Okay. We just get those bangers, though. I think this Braithwaite's going to be enjoyable like he was last year. I think so, man. You know? They've been doing some stuff to the physical-oriented uh, strikers. Like, I know he's 5'10", guys, but these guys, you know, they, they stray away from the meta of the game a little bit, but... They've been doing some stuff, man. Even the last year, Malenko car was really good. Oh, I got him too. <laughs> I got him on that left stick. The defender is on me, though. You know what? If I actually time the shots on his finesse shots, they're not that bad. That's a really long distance away, but they're not bad. 
Oh, I try to get that first time touch there. Sometimes you get lucky, man. Those lob passes where the attacker has the advantage, you got to go for. Oh, EA, just reward me with the manual defending, please. I don't need this extra and unnecessary realism stuff. Just give me the ball, man. All right, Braith, let's see how you respond here with Karim the Dream. Okay, it goes into the middle. Pass it here. That works. That works. Great strike, by the ways. Once he got the angle, that was good. No flimsy shots, very direct. Let's try that angle. Nice. Great finish again. Good chip. Small little movement from the goalkeeper. The chip worked out. We got pretty lucky on the lob pass there, though. That was a little weird. Oh, Benzema, you're passing, man. Best attacking guy in the game, but his dribbling and passing is the stuff you gotta work with. I didn't expect that. I don't even I don't even think I I swear you for that skill move, you have to use the left stick for it. Unless my left stick is broken. <laughs> Hey, listen, he hit some clean finesse shots. When he's just on the edge of the 18-yard box, he's hitting them cleanly, bro. Hey, you know what I'm saying? The second one so far. Yeah, those ones are not the dipped ones. I could try it, but uh, no chance, my boy, no chance. Oh, you hit it in the middle? Braithwaite. Braithwaite, how do you hit finesse shots, but you hit that in the middle? That, you sure. Okay. Yep. Mm hmm Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, right. If you got like a chipped header there, that would have been hilarious. Oh, I put way too much power. That was on me. That was on me, my friends. The shot was great, but I put way too much power. So I had to work some shot cancel angles to see what space I had to shoot there. I try to go near post, but must be green time, you know. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Martin Braithwaite card. So in regards to how this card performs in game, guys, um, I do feel like EA is doing a better job of making the physical type strikers better. When I say physical type, it doesn't necessarily mean that like, oh, they have to be like over six foot or whatever, right? It's just kind of like um like a play style in game, right? Like a Morata, a Nicardi, like those types of guys, right? With this card, guys, I do feel like he actually did a pretty decent job with it, considering the fact that these guys are usually not crazy in the meta of the game, which I might have to change my opinion on because for some reason, recently with the cards that they've been releasing, they've actually been pretty decent. For instance, the gameplay objective Yarmolenko card is actually pretty solid. This Braithwaite card is no different. On the engine chemistry cell, you give him really good pace. You improve his dribbling as much as possible. Yes, of course, the average body type and whatnot, you do notice in game because it does stray away from the meta of the game in regards to responsiveness. But for pass and go movement with a striker like this, you could even do you could even see when I was doing like the shot cancels, the small little left sticks, he actually did them really well. Right. right? Obviously, when it comes to composure, if you are facing the full meta. Defenders like Team of the Year, Rudiger, Team of the Year, Marquinhos, those types of players, it's going to be a little bit tougher. But like I said, if you are decent enough at the game, right, 
this is not a bad physical type striker to use. It really isn't, right? So I think EA did a really good job with him. Uh, the fact that he even has passing abilities is actually really, really cool to work with. Uh, now, I will say that as usual, I do think that these types of cards are better to use in a two striker formation, especially since I don't think he's attacking AI is crazy like Benzema but it's still pretty decent to work with in the team because, like I said, uh, he kind of feels like a flashback Accardi in a way, and you guys know that for flashback Accardi, I enjoyed using the card for what it was. He still is in my main team because, guys, again, these guys, they stray away from the meta of the game, of course, but if you're good enough at the game, they're pretty cool to use, right? So, um, yeah, like I said, I think they did a good job of Braithwaite. I like that they gave him physical capabilities. Uh, and the thing about this card, guys, is that he could still get upgraded, right? So if he gets upgraded, in the dribbling department, the shooting, and you can give them a different chemistry style. Like, let's just say, for instance, they upgrade the base card stats for pace, and then maybe you can give them like a hawk because they improve the dribbling a certain way. That would be really sick, right? So a lot of potential for a card like this, but for those of you that want to do those Liga Santander squads, I enjoyed using this card for what it was. I still think that, you know, because of flashback Benzema's attacking AI, I always prefer players like that, of course, but it's a good SPC, man. I, I like what they do with him in regards to making him usable and giving you good links with those Barcelona players. So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the other SPC reviews. Peace out, my dudes. Love you guys.